All right, so folks, as we were talking about China, it's also day 242 of Putin's war in Ukraine. And according to Ukrainian officials, the latest wave of attacks on the country's power facilities have actually been the worst bombardment yet. So let's bring in retired U.S. Air Force General, General Blaine Holt, Newsmax contributor as well. All right, General, we have been through this a lot in the last 200 and something days. Uh, 1.5 million Ukrainians without power. Uh, I got to ask here. I know we were worried about nuclear power stations like Zap in Zaporizhia and things like that. Is is this fully th threatening their entire power grid? And do you think more of these attacks are going to be happening? Absolutely. They're going to now raise the bar on infrastructure costs to uh, Zelensky. But what I'm what I'm really concerned is now that the Chinese Congress is over. And that was a great report by John Huddy, by the way. <clears throat> Now that the Congress has concluded, and Xi Jinping yeah. is really truly an emperor, and it's behind him, yeah. uh, now Putin has a very free hand with his so-called Armageddon general to really mulch up and raise the country, and it's going to really be brutal there. And I think we're going to start seeing cities like Lviv and uh, Kiev come into the target zone. Um, we're learning all kinds of things on the ground in Kherson as yeah. the collaborators and the Russians flee, but they leave Ukrainians behind. Well, that's the thing is now, you know, Putin pretty much knows he can't win this war, so he's just going to create as much devastation on the way out as he can. But let's, let's talk China, because that's, uh, I, I think, a, a bigger problem, actually, for America. Um, obviously, basically emperor now, third term, and Taiwan's sitting there wondering, like, does America have our back and will China invade it? Yeah, it's it's a big concern to have, and when we t it's a perfect uh, segue from the previous report where we talked about this race for tech. Not only have the Chinese infiltrated us, <clears throat> but if you look at this new chips bill that we just signed out, that makes it seems on its surface like wow, we're going to really start locking down our intellectual property. Okay, that's great, but did we just hand Xi Jinping a predicate to go after Taiwan that has the world's most advanced chip company, and he believes it's his? He believes right. that's his company now. So so we're going to see China in a very different way than we've ever seen them in these last 10 years with Xi Jinping. He has wiped out any rivals that he has, uh -huh. uh, and, and he got rid of all the elders. You saw him forcibly rip Hu Jintao out of his seat before they closed the conference yesterday. That was a message to Chinese. That was a message for all of us. Yeah, but here's the issue. Okay, so we got two more years of Biden, to hopefully just two more years. Um, and it looks, I mean, Trump said last night that he's like, I'm, I'm probably going to have to do it again. So we take Republican Congress to take Republican Senate. And now we have Joe Biden still the lead foreign policy liaison for the world. And maybe Trump's on the horizon. Do you think, because I, I mean, we run in four year stints with the presidency here, but obviously Xi Jinping is going to be there forever. And do you think he's going to ramp up hoping that uh, he can get everything he wants done before Donald Trump, so he's negotiating from a place of power? Or do you think he's just like, wow, <clears throat> I don't want to do this because I want to wait it out and see if Donald Trump wins and then maybe not do anything and then maybe wait another four years? Oh, yeah. No, there's no question about it. This is the shot clock is on to take advantage of American weakness. And what we need to do is start to send messages back the other way that we're getting our house in order in, in advance of that. So Mike Waltz's idea is that we should have great investigations about who's really compromised and co-opted in China. We need to start reviewing, is it appropriate for the Chinese to compete with us by owning 200,000 acres of our own farmland? Outside we of a military to, base? Uh, yeah. Uh, we need to start challenging every single avenue of approach of involvement with the Chinese. You want to go be the world superpower? You're not going to do it with our help. And, uh, and, and we need to take that very seriously, but we can do it now. We, we, we absolutely should be preparing to do it now. American strength will help us in this very dangerous world. We're going yeah, to be. exactly. Draw the red line and actually follow through. And when he does cross it, you put him back to the Stone Age. Um, the Heritage Foundation re uh, released this crazy thing. It said the military is weak for the first time. OK, it's rating the U.S. military, the most lethal fighting force in the world ever is weak. I, I'm so concerned about this. Our, mil our, our adversaries, Russia, is teaching four-year-olds how to use rocket launchers and AK-47s, and we're using pronouns and, you know, feel-good stories and trying to keep from soldiers getting the sads. And this is the global climate? I cannot imagine that even one of the 17 million veterans in this country are not concerned about the service they came from and what the condition of it is in. The good news is 
I love that we can wake up in a country and we can throw rocks open and honestly at our own institutions like this. And because the only way you're going to ever get better is to say what is true, right. which is we are weak. This woke thing won't work. We have to have a meritocracy. That's what wins wars. Yeah. And we've got to stop trading our technology and we've got to really review these vax policies and nonsense that we've been embarking on. Yeah, I it just you got to wonder where it comes from, because yeah. all these generals uh, did you were a general and you seem to have your head screwed on perfectly well. <laughs> and all these other guys, your colleagues are like, no, let's worry about, you know, making sure that they're gender inclusive uniforms or whatever garbage they come yeah. up with. Yeah, My CO2 levels going up. I, I'm in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Insane. It's, it's, it's dangerous. It's very dangerous. Yeah. And it, it transmits this weakness in the global commons where folks go, gosh, if that's what Kabul looked like after 20 plus years of war, let's get our shopping cart out and go get some geopolitical goals done right now. Okay. And unfortunately, this is what gave us you. Yeah. And then if they do it right, Congress will just hand them a bunch of free money. General Blaine Holt, we appreciate you being here, sir. Have a great day.